Yeah, so quick update here. Ignore the mess, it's still a work in progress. Um, I received the fan in the mail yesterday, which I'm using to inflate the greenhouse. Um, it's adjustable, speed adjustable. Um, it's actually doesn't use much power, um, but it's actually working in the lowest lowest setting. The lowest setting on this is enough to inflate the greenhouse. So as you can see, all the walls now are inflated. Um, so that's working really well. That's stopping the wind from flapping it around everywhere and it's adding extra R value to it. Um, I'm blowing warm inside here. I did watch videos on the internet which recommended blowing outside here because it'll stop the stop the moisture in there and all that sort of stuff. Um, but I've also seen videos where they use the inside air. I'm going to use the inside air um, just because it's warmer. I feel like it's going to have more insulation. I'm not too worried about the any mould or anything. Um, it's still winter here at the moment. And I've actually managed to grow tropical morning glory water sponge in here. Even though it's winter. Um, that would be dead outside. I'm still getting frosts. I've got basil here. That would be dead more morning glory here, just a bit of Chinese cabbage here. Um, as for the compost heating system here, it's about 26 to 30 degrees last week or so. It's only been going for about a week and a half, two weeks. I'm still waiting on some for some for some sunny days to boost the compost up to a higher temperature. But basically the way it, the way it's working is this bed here, all the pipes, the whole system is insulated. It's sucking the hot water out of the compost heat. And it's releasing all that heat mostly in the beds so it's as if these beds are actually in the compost obviously there is some system losses and obviously it does actually suck a lot of heat out of the compost so if i didn't have it in combination with the solar heater solar diy solar heater um, eventually all the heat would just get sucked out of the compost and it would just cool right down and it wouldn't work i don't think um, Uh, yeah, so it's about 26 in there at the moment. Um, I changed the compost over the other day and changed the setup. I did get the compost up to 35 degrees, but since I changed it over, it hasn't quite made it back up there. It's sort of on a sunny day at, at the moment. I'm getting about 28 degrees, and I haven't had some for a few days, so it's dropped back down to 25. But it seems to seems to yeah, I'm seem to be stuck about the 28, 25 degree mark. Um, what else? I've got new greenhouse vents, automatic opening vents here. They're working well. Just put those on the other day. Um, what else? Um, yeah, I'm going to be moving this into an outdoor shed that I'm going to build. Just because I want some more space in here for crops. It doesn't need to be in here. Um, so I'm going to make that in the next couple of weeks. Um, Needs a bit of a clean, obviously. Still work in, a prog work in progress. Um, I'll put a bit of plastic around the insulated pipes. Cleaning all that up. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it for now. The, the soil is quite warm in here. You can actually feel the warmth on it. I'm just waiting on a probe, wireless probe, to monitor that. Um, that's about all I've got to say, I think, so...